Hey, hey everyone, Carlo Pix here, and welcome to the next update of this uh, Peacock 5D Diamond painting. And uh, yeah, getting on with it. So these videos usually cover about uh, three to four hours of work um, put into this diamond painting. And at this point, I've probably put in about uh, close to a hundred hours on this piece and I'm still only about halfway through. So <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty epic piece. Um, I really can't wait to see what it'll look like 100% complete. I'm very excited about it. But yeah, it's been a good journey so far. I've I feel like I've learned a lot doing this one. Like I've got new tools, I've got new methods of, you know, using the diamonds and um, how I store them and how I nudge them around and everything like that. So picked up some good techniques using this diamond painting. It's a good learning one. <laughs> So I'm really excited. I've uh, finally gotten all of the diamond paintings that I've just recently ordered. All of them. Can't believe it. And um, the last one I got, so it's getting quite warm in Australia now, right? So last week we had lot, like really hot weather. Like uh, now I forget what it is in Fahrenheit, but uh, we had about almost 40 degree weather like the whole week and it was really hot and um, you know the sun's very strong here in Australia so I was quite concerned and surprised and slightly angry when um, one of my my last diamond painting it was just dropped off on my doorstep and um, there was there was somebody home the whole day but nobody rang the bell or knocked on the door or anything and it was just sitting there in the sun on the doorstep and I don't know how long it had been sitting there but I was quite worried because like I said the sun is really strong here in Australia and it could possibly melt things I thought maybe the adhesive could be damaged or melt some of the diamonds I was kind of upset and I was like come on Australia pose really <laughs> it's not that hard to ring the doorbell and let us know we've got a package and just to leave it out in the sun like that, it's crazy. But I opened it up because I always open them up and make sure that I've got um, the proper amount of diamonds and you know, just that everything's there. And um, it all seems to be okay. After it cooled off, um, the canvas looked all right. I won't know for sure, I guess, until I do it. But if anything, I guess the heat would make it stickier. <laughs> but yeah, the diamonds look all right. Everything was there, so. You know, in the end it all worked out, but still, don't leave the stuff out in the sun, that's so bad.
So we also had the、um, major sale days of the year, which was、uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And、uh, yeah, I got sucked into buying some crafts again. I really need to stop shopping. Haven't even bought all of my Christmas presents yet. For shame. But yeah, I did、um, get a couple of new crafts during these sales.、Um, I'm glad they were really cheap, so I don't feel too bad about it. But I'll probably record those and kind of interject them in between these diamond painting updates、um, just to, you know, add a little bit of, you know, variety to the channel. <laughs> But yeah. Look out for those. One of the people that I follow on Instagram sells diamond paintings as well, and、uh, their prices are really good, so I'll probably、um, purchase some from them as well. And also, they have some that I haven't seen commonly on AliExpress, so that'll be good.、Um, but they also have、um, diamond paintings that include clock faces, and I think hopefully they include the clock parts for these. So I think that would be. So awesome. It would be a practical, functional diamond painting instead of, you know, just a hanging piece of art. It would be functional. Like, oh, that would be so awesome. So, can't wait to look into that some more. But I should probably curb my diamond painting purchases for a little while. <laughs> I really did buy that many. I've been trying to think of what other practical uses I could do with the diamond painting. And I've just been trying to run through my head. Like, there's experiments I would need to do, of course, but I was like, maybe if I put like a shellac or a protective coating on it when it's done, you can use it as a fabric. I guess it depends on how heavy and how hard it is, but you can make like maybe a tote bag out of it or. You know, also depending on how big it is. So, like maybe the smaller pieces.、Um, yeah, maybe make a tote bag or a purse. Or I was thinking maybe even like a lamp of some sort, lamp shade, maybe. I don't know. Just kind of running through my head of what could be some possibilities and just hanging it up. Have you guys done anything out of the ordinary with your diamond paintings? Would love to hear your thoughts and ideas on such.
so yeah that's it for this video um i was just thinking should i upload longer videos like would you be interested in longer um videos of my progress in one go or are you happy with this size the only thing is is that the longer videos take longer for me to upload but again that's not you know you click a button and you leave it so it's not like a big hassle or anything but yeah let me know if you want longer videos or if you're happy with this current size that's around you know 11 minutes or so um but yeah if you want like longer videos just let me know in the comments below thank you everyone for watching and for your support and i will see you in the next video bye